are here at Kanda Miyoji Shrine for the Asia premiere event for Teppin. And it's gonna be pretty cool because I am not here for a fighting game. I'm here for Teppin, which is a card game. And we're gonna be playing against Tokido and Daigo who are also fighting game legends as well. excited to play against Tokido and Daigo just because I don't think we ever played a game outside of Street Fighter or like the classic fighting games that we normally play so trying to play them in a different element to see where their mindset mindset is at it's kind of be pretty interesting and you know I'm kind of curious on their play styles and what they're gonna be playing like how they're gonna play like does it revolve around from their pre their current fighting game styles like I want to see where it carries over and I think that's gonna be the cool thing about this event biggest challenge I don't know man like I know Daigo is like pretty good at card games um, he plays card games in general um, I'm not sure uh, how good Tokido is but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be really smart my man graduated from Tokyo University man so he definitely is gonna be an expert um, but I'm gonna I, I want to say that Daigo might be harder to beat just because he's kind of hard to read as a person he's like this enigma man if, if there was like a real-life Riddler that would be him and that's that's Daigo right there. So it'll be pretty interesting to see what kind of decks he plays, um, what kind of strategy he plays. Like I'm, I'm gonna assume that he's gonna play Ryu for the lore, right? And Tokido, I mean, he's a filthy top tier player. So you already know he's gonna pick the, the, the top deck. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to fight against him as well. We play a lot of card games, but this one is particularly fast. There's action cards that come out at a high ratio and it's hard to so Justin I understand it is being playing quite a bit okay, so this is going to be the second one for some of the exhibition match Justin Morrigan Tokido Morrigan and then uh, as Justin uh, open up the frame and then try to attack the opponent and then the Tokido san's power is diminishing so Justin wins I hope I win um, because, you know, I've been playing a lot. I got the champion, you know what I mean, the honest nerd life, but we're going to be rolling with the Ryu and Ryu and Morrigan today. So I was a huge fan of like the Metsu uh, Shoryuken deck. So I'm going to be playing Ryu for that, trying to get the, the combos off, trying to finish it real fast before they can get like any of their stuff started. And Morrigan, she got the lame stuff. She got the halts, you know, she got the darkness illusions. So it's going to be one of those games where like hopefully I can resonate my Ibuki and Shenko to the max where I could just take them out real quick. I think Teppan Esports is gonna be pretty cool because it's gonna be one of those things where people are gonna see actual like exhibition matches and then we're gonna have like the invitational at PAX, so that's gonna be great as well. So seeing people come out from their online shell to play in person to feel that like the nerves, the intensity, the situations, I think that's gonna be pretty interesting because I feel like those butterfingers on the phones are gonna be happening, you know what I mean? They might miss those those little shot, those last minute chances, the last last frames of like doing a super using an action card. So I, I wanna see those type of things because usually you don't see that in card games because it's turn based. So the fact that this is gonna be real time, you're gonna see some chokes. And I wanna see people choke in card games. The event was really cool. I um, I had a blast. It was uh, I think just amazing to play Tokido and Daigo in like games outside of fighting games. So the fact that they were playing Teppin, we were, I was playing Teppin, 
and I was able to actually win, you know, like I, I won with my Morgan and Ryu deck. I felt like my the Morgan match against uh, Tokido was really, really down to the wire. It was really intense. I even like the game even like told us like, hey man, there's only one minute left. You guys got to do something. So it was really intense. The Daigo one was pretty interesting because like I really rushed them down with Ryu. And that's kind of like uncharacteristic for me because I'm more of like a defensive player. So the fact that I was able to rush him down with like just Ryu, it gave me so much like, I guess, confidence and also options that I can play different archetypes in like different games. I got this Echo Plus from Amazon, so shout out to Amazon. I now have one of these, which is really nice. Um, hopefully it's not region locked because I would love to use it at home. Bro, that box is in Japanese. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying, it's Japanese. I don't know if it's region locked. You know how like when you, when you buy game consoles, it's region locked. So, I mean, what if it starts talking to me in Japanese? That means I guess I'm learning Japanese then if it's gonna start talking to me back in Japanese. <laughs> Thank you.